Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, if you're watching this, I hope you've watched our previous review video on the X-H2. If not, then click on the top corner to watch this now. In this video, we're doing an outdoor portrait to shoot with both the Fujifilm X-H2 and the new X-F 56mm f1.2 RWR lens. Ella and I both work at Head Office of Vloggers and Cameras. Ella will be doing the photography side of things today and I'll be doing the video side of things and Faith is our model for today. We have a few locations in mind, the first being a beautiful floral field, which I think will be really great to see the full potential of the colour science in the X-H2. And then our second location is a cornfield where we'll be, be able to get some really nice creamy bokka from the 56mm lens. already seen our separate reviews on the X-H2 and the new XF 56mm f1.2 RWR lens. If not, check them out. We took them out for a fashion shoot to show you what they're really made of. As many of you are probably aware, Fujifilm are known for their beautiful colours which originated from their film cameras and production way before digital cameras were invented. Over the years, Fujifilm have perfected and developed the film and colour science in their newer camera models and even brought back four of the original film engineers to help design the more recent models and ensure the colours, grain, etc. remain true to their heritage. The original images don't need post-editing at all, the colours are vibrant and rich, the highlights and shadows give a nice even contrast and the image quality is impeccable. The only thing we really adjusted on the edits is the look of the image as well as some touch-ups. With that being said, all the video footage is shot using F-Log2, which has an expanded dynamic range of 13 plus stops, allowing me to capture scenes with great contrast between the lights and dots of an image. This is great when it comes to post editing and applying your creative touch. The more dynamic range you have, the more creative control you have over your footage, meaning you can manipulate certain elements of your footage to look a certain way. Aside from the colour and overall performance of the X-H2 camera, the XF 56mm f1.2 RWR lens is beautiful. The detail and colour this lens produces is amazing. Honestly, I've never been so impressed with a combination of camera and lens until now. It is comprised of 13 elements in 8 groups and including an ED and 2 spherical elements, which helps to reduce chromatic, spherical and chromatic aberrations. This in turn helps to ensure highlights are preserved and image quality and detail is retained in the image. We have reviewed both products in two separate videos, if you want to check those out for more specifications and features then click the link above or in the description box below to watch after this video. The depth of field on this lens is super dreamy, at f1.2 the focus is pin sharp on the subject whilst the foreground and background are beautifully creamy. The lens features 11 aperture blades for lovely rounded bokeh. Although the results are beautiful, if you wanted to use this lens for video, be aware that the aperture and focusing is a little noisy. If you're recording sound, then this will be a problem, but if not, it's no issue at all. The X-H2 is equipped with the new 40.2 megapixel sensor which offers unmatched image quality in the APS-C range. In addition to this, the X-H2 can also record 8K 30p video in 422 10-bit colour and 8K oversampled 4K HQ mode resulting in a high quality image that takes full advantage of the 40.2 megapixel sensor. Referring back to F-Log2, you can really see a difference in the colours, highlights, shadows and overall contrast in the before and after. For someone that has little knowledge of the depths of colour grading, F-Log2 was incredibly easy to grade and allowed me to achieve my desired creative look of this shoot. So that concludes today's video, what do we think? Having tested the X-H2S myself, I think I'm swaying more to the X-H2 because I love how much detail is captured, especially when coupled with the 56mm lens. But if you're someone that photographs sports or wildlife, then the X-H2S will be a great camera for you because it's, it's got a very impressive 40 frames per second electronic mode. The autofocus system is very similar to the X-H2S and I found no issues with it on this occasion, but if you want to find out more about the autofocus, then check out Alex's full review video in the description box below. 
If you enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We have recently ventured into short videos which is a new feature on YouTube so don't forget to check those out as well. As always if you have any questions then comment away down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now until next time we will see you all soon.